Greetings! In this video we are going to be looking at the Scottish Folk Song found on page 83 of the Christopher Parkening Classical Guitar Method Volume 1. In this piece I would encourage you to try playing it in two rather than four. Four has an accent on all four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In two we have an accent on one and three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In this case the melody might do something like this. It's a little exaggerated in that case, but you get the idea. We have this drone, is what it's referred to, when I have a fifth throughout the entire piece, kind of simulating bagpipes that just hold down these two notes while the entire melody goes through the piece in spite of those two notes droning on the entire song. So this drone is going on, and then we have our melody come in, and I would emphasize that D I personally think the melody sounds nice coming in on that third D, 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 F, G. You could wait an extra B and go. Something like that. If you'd like it to start more abruptly instead of that B, bum, ba, e, da. So it's up to you where it starts, but I would encourage you to really, in the very beginning, overemphasize the G so that when the D is emphasized as the melody, it really stands out. If I start... It doesn't really sound as melodic. I've got this D, 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 F, G. And it, it doesn't really feel like it's entering over a drone. We want to have a sense of, here's my drone. Um, what I'm going to do is just put a little weight. I displace that string with my thumb. Whereas my pointer finger is just going to touch the fourth string, D. And if I do that, I have this weight laid into the G, and I have no weight on the D. Then when I pull through both thumb and forefinger, that G stands out much more. It's a great way to emphasize that G. And then I can really yank that D and really bring out that melody over the drone. At the end, in measure 10, we have this melody ends, drone, drone, melody re-enters. I also added a little touch at the end with a couple extra of our drone. And then mute, place, tambora. What I'm doing is index finger on G and then my pinky and ring finger on the fifth fret of the next two strings. So I've got a D and a G. And it's just G's and D's, which has that nice hollow drone sound to it. And it's just a little bit of flair if you want to do something to spice up the end of the song. So those are my playing recommendations for this piece. I will add, technique-wise, there is a sneaky detail with the pinky. What I would encourage you to do leading up to the pinky Think about your ring finger flat. And the reason for that, if I go straight in with my ring finger, then using my pinky, I start to have to do a downward ankle angle coming into that string. However, if I go flat on my ring finger, it lets me go straight in with my pinky. We don't ever want to reach this point where we're curling back into strings. And so if we ever need to do something delicate here and something down here, it's better if we have to to flat finger in the bass strings so that we can keep curled and have a nice straight angle of entry in the treble strings. So I can only really go straight in in one area, the treble strings or the bass strings. And when I need to do both, maybe something really contrapuntal where there's a lot going on, I do straight in the top and flat in the bass. And sometimes you can come in at this diagonal angle, but don't, don't expect to be able to get this finger all the way curled over and still be mobile with these fingers. That being said, let's go ahead and do ring finger flat. And then my pinky is going to push for these Ds. I can actually be back a little bit and push into them. So I'm not curling, I'm pushing. And same here, I'm going to push into these Fs. The pinky, for me at least, is the trickiest part of this piece, but if you're very intentional to push on both occasions, 
the temptation is to be hovering over F and ready to push, and then you pull and hit the wrong string. So you hover, push, hover, push, hover, push. If you can get your pinky used to that, it's going to be a lot more dependable in this piece. So go ahead and give those a try. I would love some feedback if you found that helpful or not. Thank you very much for watching, and I would encourage you to like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. You'll help others to find them as well. Thank you very much, and God bless.